I find this project extremely original, extremely useful and helpful uh, to the development of, uh, of uh, scholarly cooperation between Polish and American uh, uh, academia. The project's role in uh, promoting uh, Poland's history or East Central Europe's history uh, in the 20th century uh, is enormous in my opinion uh, and uh, it has got a huge impact on uh, on uh, our perceptions, mutual perceptions of uh, Polish and American historians and all other people dealing with the process of publishing historical, scientific or scholarly books. All those uh, encounters we have had uh, since uh, the year 2006 uh, within this project uh, help us get rid of uh, stereotypes that have accumulated on both sides uh, of this, uh, of this uh, milieu, of the people who have taken part in this project. This project may be extremely useful for American publishers, uh, editors and publishers, because um, due to this project, they are able to avoid making, uh, some, uh, making mistakes that can be sometimes detrimental to the overall shape, the final shape of, uh, of uh, historical monographs. We give them here in Poland uh, first-hand uh, first knowledge regarding Poland's history. We can verify uh, possible errors, mistakes that uh, have been included in the manuscripts of the monographs they are preparing. And therefore, I think that this cooperation is definitely beneficial for both sides of, of the participants of the project. All Americans, all experts, uh, all uh, publishers and authors taking part in this project, in those meetings, uh, treat the Polish counterpart, counterparts seriously, really seriously, uh, and uh, that they take, uh, they treat uh, all the comments, remarks, uh, and even criticisms uh, seriously. So, which gives me personally a lot of confidence that my participation uh, makes sense. The idea to show Poland's history in, in a wide context of uh, Eastern Europe, Russia, and even some countries of Western Europe, of course, in my opinion, is beneficial for the project. I think that each uh, comparison is beneficial for a scholar because it helps uh, to see uh, similarities and differences uh, between uh, between countries, between uh, societies, uh, and uh, also we can compare this way uh, uh, various historical events or processes that sometimes have transnational character. Meeting others, other historians, other than Americans, yes, is also uh, is also uh, beneficial for me. Uh, an important advantage of this uh, project because uh, I may realize that uh, scholars from various countries of the world are interested in uh, Poland's history or the history of uh, East Central Europe. Uh, and the exchange of uh, our uh, professional experiences is also for me uh, uh, an outstanding opportunity for me to widen my, uh, my uh, professional horizons, my professional competences. I have had uh, very interesting uh, interactions with Filip Slaveski after the conference because uh, we shared uh, emails, uh, some information, some experiences. Uh, I'm going to help him uh, find a manuscript, a manuscript of one of, uh, of the Polish monographs uh, regarding uh, the Soviet Union uh, Union's uh, history during the post-war years after the Second World War. And then we even met in Australia. Shows me that such uh, such interactions uh, may bring uh, a lot of uh, a lot of positive uh, positive situations, uh, ties, 
uh, even uh, as far as our private life is concerned, not only professional uh, experiences. In-person contacts are much, uh, much better than, than uh, online ones uh, because uh, our discussions uh, extend beyond the sessions themselves and also uh, can be, uh, can be uh, um, carried on uh, during, uh, during uh, dinners, for example, uh, informal conversations, when we do the sightseeing together, and many, uh, many aspects, uh, many uh, views of ours can be expressed much more understandably, much more directly, and thus, we uh, first of all establish closer per, in, uh, interpersonal contacts, but also uh, we may uh, help uh, uh, each other better understand our uh, point of view on a specific matter. History is, is uh, taught or learned not only by uh, reading textbooks, for example, or scientific scholarly monographs, but also. Uh, by uh, direct contact or direct contacts with uh, all the manifestations of uh, history, uh, its representations, such as monuments, uh, such as uh, works of fine arts, etc., etc. So I think that staying in a place that uh, where somewhere something uh, happened uh, also. Uh, helps us uh, understand better the history of a given place or uh, a given uh, country.